emerge and we will be on the way and here we have Ghana against Lazio this is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise well I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you Peter and, and thank you very much for that so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture for me it's Miroslav Klose any aspiring goal scorers out there should study his movement and ability to find uh, a sliver of space. After that, it's all about his level of focus and ruthlessness. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Keeper's ball. Goes long. Well, that's where he wants it. Bilia. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Uh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Bishavats pumps it upfield. Bilia. He's made certain that won't get through. Well played, he saw that coming. Parolo. Garner, yet to have a shot on target. Conco. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. He's lifting it over. Bishavats positions himself well and cuts it out. It's a long forward pass. That's a throw. Parolo. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Tries to get it forward quickly. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Parolo plays it out to the wing. That had too much on it. Aimed long and direct. Lulic boots it upfield. Looks like a good ball through. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And the whistle goes for half time. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. Ghana, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling up... Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. That is wayward. They're committing a lot of men forward at the start of this second half. They know that this is an important time for them now. Plays it out to the flank. Plays a clever pass. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Tries a through ball. He slid it through. Bilia 
pumps it forwards. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Lulic. Early ball. Well, he rushed into that and didn't give anyone a chance to get on the end of it. It is still anyone's game. Nil-nil. Tarolo gets it back. And it's Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson crosses into the box. Looking to force his way through. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Tries to dink it in. He's got it, and he's got time. Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Bishavac. It's intriguingly poised for me, and players are thinking, well, should we stay or, or should we go? I'd like to think fortune favours the brave, and I'm urging them to, to be bold and go for it. Felipe Anderson. Oh, that's neat. Who's going to make this theirs? Bishavac. Time added on will be two minutes. Hoisted towards the area. Goalkeeper's ball. So that's it. It is all over. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a 